good morning. It's almost 10 a.m., which means time for my lift. And I wanted to bring you guys with me to show you what it's like to lift as a Division I student athlete. Now, the first tip I'll say is you can notice I have no makeup on my face. <laughs> um, and I'm tired. That is usually how we all feel when we go to our lifts. Mine is at 10 because we're not in season and I'm gonna do it with my uh, strength coach uh, at a time that's convenient for him, which was 10. Um, but usually, like my freshman year, we lifted at 6 a.m. My other years on the team, we lifted at, actually we lifted in the afternoon, so it just depends. But yeah, I want this to be really realistic for you guys, so I'm not wearing makeup. Even though I know like thousands of you will watch this video, I, I'm keeping it real because it's not about how you look, it's about how you play. And if someone comments on how you look, or you're not wearing makeup, or your body this, we don't care. We just care how hard we're working and how we play. So I usually walk or bike to my lift. It depends if I have a bike or if my bike was stolen. Um, a lot of bikes get stolen at USC. There's campus, so beautiful. So usually I have a team lift, which means the whole team has to be there. No one usually can miss that. It's important for culture to lift together and train together because then you're all watching each other's work ethic and you're inspired and you're just kind of going through it together. Uh, we never had like lifting at different times. We were always together. No one's gonna be there today and my team's not gonna be there. This is just me and the strength coach for a few reasons. Oh, cute little baby. One, I am in my senior spring, so I'm like technically not having, I don't have to train with the team. Also, I would never be able to vlog an actual team workout, but I know that you guys have really wanted this a video and I wanna give you what you want. I think it'll be really cool to see like a, a day in the life of our lift. Also, as some of you guys know, I am going to be playing in Vietnam for 12 days in the Binh Dien Cup. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Apologies if I didn't. And I need to get in shape. I'm gonna be representing the United States of America. So, I'm gonna do it justice. So yes, I've been working out and I wanted to show you guys what one of my workouts looks like as I'm getting back into shape. Time to cross the street, get to campus, shout out Webb Tower, live their freshman year. Oh, plot twist, just kidding. I'm heading back home because I forgot my tripod. This is classic. Welcome to the true life of a student athlete. Uh, you think everything's going good. You forget something. You have to go get it and you have to get back in time because you literally cannot be late. It's 9.36. I have to get the tripod and be back before 10. Where are oh, you stupid? Okay, I got it. It's 9.45. We can do this. Deja vu. Okay, we have a few minutes left and we made it. This is beautiful JMC. That tree is just poorly placed at this moment. The John McKay Center. You must have a fingerprint to open the door. And underneath is an entire underground facility that I'm gonna show you. Oh my god, they X'd me out already. Oh, great. That's where we study. Okay, so a few notes about JMC. A lot of rules. You cannot wear any blue. You can only wear USC colors. Um, I once was kicked out for wearing blue. So, don't do that. Also, um, we have to take the stairs. Athletes cannot use the elevator. No, 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 because we work hard, we take the stairs. This is the stairs, and they look pretty fun. I mean, oh my god, they redid this. Oh no, they didn't redo this, this is the same. Okay, we're almost there. Hey guys, so I'm here with uh, my favorite strength coach. I've had many at USC, but Steve is the man. Um, and he's so kindly going to walk us through the lift today and prepare something really special. Yes, we will. We're gonna get amped and we're gonna get jacked. Today. Yes, yes. I love Steve's energy. He's yeah, always hyping we'll, us up. We'll definitely dominate this one, Nick. Love it. All right, time for fans.
We're going to get a med ball for the next part of the workout. Okay, so Victoria is going to do a double response, overhead slam with the leg ball. She's going to get tall. Just like that. She did that four times. Once she completes four, she sets the ball down, she puts the band around the knees, and she'll walk. She got 10 steps each way. Let's go. Let's do it. Get after it now. Got a little more weight on there. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. We call this Skittles. All the colors of the rainbow. Taste the rainbow, baby. Yeah, baby. Get your 10. Two, over and back. Shark infested water. Yes. How are you feeling, Vic? Good. Steve, spend some knowledge. What should, what should I think about when I start to think about stopping or giving up? Oh, you, you never think about that. You no. think about domination. You think about domination. I think dominate everything. Hey, today's Wednesday. It's, it's Dominate Wednesday. Yeah, it is. Think about winning. Lunge single leg balance. We're gonna superset that with some core, some cobras, and I'll tie those. But what I'm gonna have her do, she's gonna have her kettlebell in a high rack position. She's gonna support with a support hand. I'm gonna start in a 90 90 position here. 
Here we go. We're going live. Like to take a picture at the top. Hold it. Slight second at the top. There you go. Good. 90 90 right here. Don't kick the leg out. There you go. Good. There you go. Sit into those hips. Yeah, a little balance component in there. Good. Nice. Nice job. Okay, Cobras. We're gonna use the timer. Woo! Ready. And hop. Feet are on the ground. Yep. What are you thinking about, Victoria? Are you thinking about being a little Cobra down there? Huh? You got five seconds, five seconds. I would rather do this than win. goes heavy, so I don't know if it's just for the camera, but almost goes heavier on everything. All right, ready for the Cobras? Ready. Hey, up. We're almost done, Vic. Gonna get some watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> Three seconds. Is it recording? Yeah. It is? <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is one leg's gonna be on the ground, the other leg's gonna be straight. We're gonna cross just like this. Okay, one left, watch me. One left like this. Yeah. Come back up. Straight. Cross. Five times. Okay. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. Good. Just one time. Okay, now again.
Well, thank you guys for following along my lift with Steve. I hope you enjoyed it. And now I'm gonna go get a big breakfast, probably toast or a bagel, some good form of carbs with protein, maybe eggs, some meat, some peanut butter. Hungry, it's so important to post fuel. And I'm gonna go get a lot of water. It's a beautiful day in Southern California. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. And stay tuned for more, oh, oh my gosh, I just fell down the stairs. That would have been so bad. Stay tuned for more coming with me on my trip to Vietnam, wearing the red, white, and blue. I couldn't be more excited. Subscribe. If you noticed the entire lift, I was being supervised and chaperoned by a professional, a strength coach professional who has credentials, who uh, works for the school and was supervising me to make sure everything I was doing was the right form and was safe and was good for my body. Please do not do anything you saw in this video without someone by your side who knows what they're doing, um, is a strength coach like Steve and can make sure that you're doing everything with the right form and in a safe way. Do not do this alone. Do not do this at home unless you have a strength coach supervising you. Also, some of the things I did might not be good for your body, might not be good for what you're doing. So really make sure that once again, you're not doing anything in this video unless you have someone who knows what they're doing and is a strength coach supervising you.